A device the size of a peanut gives lung disease patients the sweet breath of life. WDRB's Gilbert Corsi shows us the medical breakthrough being tested right here in Louisville. It's the first thing I do in the morning is I get up and I take a, a puff of this. George Glasner lives by the pump. I couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs without... <clears throat> 68 years old, suffering from emphysema and COPD. Hopefully this is going to improve their quality of life and help them breathe better. They are incurable diseases. Well, Dr. Tanya Wee says she may have a treatment that will help severe emphysema sufferers breathe a sigh of relief. What we do is we try to block the area of lung that's diseased so that no flow goes to that area. This is what it looks like on paper. A normal set of lungs on the left, an emphysema patient on the right. See how the disease part of the lung swells up like a balloon? Dr. Weiss inserts a valve into the sixth section and forces it to collapse. When the lung gets emphysemous and gets um, diseased, it becomes like a big balloon and it starts to crush the other part of the good lung. And then that lung can't function well. So since this part of the lung's not even functioning, we collapse that with the valves and then we allow that good portion of the lung to re-expand and allow it to start working again. The valve is no bigger than an eraser. Doctors will implant three to eight of them specifically into the diseased part of the lung. It's called the Liberate Study. U of L is the only hospital in Kentucky and one of only a handful in the country piloting the trial. Weiss currently looking for patients, which shouldn't be too hard to find. The Commonwealth leads the nation in tobacco-related diseases and tobacco use. Gosh, I started smoking at 17 and quit when I was 55. Unfortunately, Glasner did not qualify for the trial. He's managing his flare-ups through rehab and medicine and watching the research. I used to have anxiety attacks all the time about, you know, getting out of breath and, and uh, you know, what am I going to be like in three years? Hoping one day to breathe easy again. Gilbert Corsi, WDRB News.